Okay. okay. It's the two hour block. Well, yeah, it's just like we had to like try this thing out, right? This whole yeah. like two and a half hours. You had the one two hour block last week, correct? Right? You have two hours, but then. No. You did uh -uh. not. Yeah, we did 90. It was 90. Yeah. 90, and then um, Friday was like the Friday was Friday's gonna be regular for me. It's gonna be like 57 minutes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. But it's gonna be. I'm teaching three classes now. If you saw that. Yeah. I Our groups are broken up into three. How do you feel about that? It's fine. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Um, uh, okay. I'm gonna open up your big documents. If you will open up your lesson plan names, I'm gonna open up your uh, scope and sequence and unit plan. You want me to open up what? I'm opening up the big documents, the okay, scope cool. and sequence, and the. Gotcha. And I've tried to more or less totally script out tomorrow as well. That is not on uh, this format that I think we can try to change. But let's put it, let's try to do that. Yeah. You're going to take out like an overview of it and then. Yeah. Give me a test. Hang on, let me get the unit. Uh, tomorrow. Can you turn your laptop? Yeah. Or how, you, you young people, I can't see anything because I'm so old. Oh yeah, yeah, with the zoom in it. I got you. No, it's the brightness. Oh hey, hey I couldn't see anything. <laughs> is that so much better? I don't think I was crazy. I'm like, what is going that's on? Probably why I've had a headache for the past three days. Uh, and I've been going like this too. And that's what it is. Oh I mean, hey. Look how bright mine is. Oh, well now we're all bright, right? Yeah. I think that you got some more that you can... That's awesome. Okay, so here's tomorrow. All right, this is what I'm trying to sort of finalize. Now this is, of course, I was about to say, two things right now. We have two and a half hours, mm -hmm. and we're like kind of 70% there of all of our moving parts to be there. Which pieces are not there? Independent reading books, Achieve 3000 diagnostic. Got it. Okay. Right. You know what I mean? Yep. So it's kind of like I feel like we're kind of like a three-legged dog right now. Yep. Um, that is, I hate that metaphor. I'm sorry. For using that. Sorry, princess. Sorry, princess, and all your friends. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, this is what I came up with. So, Laura and I are thinking like, can we kind of introduce one big element at a time this week? Mm -hmm. So tomorrow, um, I do now about you. Your book you've read. What is it about? Why did you read it? How did you read it? Mm -hmm. I changed this to just one book. Introduction to independent reading. So I have made this like PowerPoint. Yep. Shortish. Um, it's got a little John Green on there. It's kind of part of the longer part of it. Yep. Kind of a guide for them to fill out as they do it, as mm -hmm. they walk through it. Um, key messages here. Right, reading is not equal to rushing. Love it. You like that? I love it. Right that. So are you, can we walk you through this right now? Is this? Is this what no, just walk me through the overview. Skeleton. This looks okay. awesome. Yeah. Cool. So then, um, there's a document that we found um, in terms of sharing of books from one of these independent reading, you know, common core things, mm -hmm. um, where it, it takes them through five pages of a book, mm -hmm. where like the first two pages, it's like you count on one hand um, how many words you don't know. Uh, it's, it's not, I have, a, I have a copy of the print, I don't have it, it's not sitting right here. It's um, yeah, this is, exactly. It takes them through five pages. So I figured I'd give them, I think, 10 or 12 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then we could get them all one book and do like a pass, right? And they'll fill it out, maybe two, maybe three books. Yep. Um, turn, and, turn and talk after each, after they read a book. Yep. And this just would be like a demonstration of like, we're trying to, we're trying to be like educated, like um, tutors, right? Yep. Consumers of, of what we read, you know, yep. in terms of that kind of choice. Um, so I put that for about 35 minutes. Okay. I was thinking three passes. Um, okay, pause here. Okay. I got a great picture of what's happening for the day. Let's play this scenario out again. Okay. Pick a student. You mean a student in one um, of my classes? Yeah, you're pick one of your favorites. My favorite. I love them all. Love them all. I don't know. Pick this one is the first period. We'll do um, Sharifa. Sharifa. Okay, so. 
for talking to Sharifa. It's the end of the day Wednesday. What did you learn in Mr. Parker's class? What did we learn in your her say? Yeah. Um, did I put my hands in here? I think I did. No, um, great. Okay. I wanted to know the components of independent reading. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to be able to explain why independent reading is important to them. Okay. And so this is kind of my like, I think you know, your kind of small blows. I guess kind of what I'm trying yeah. to model what you. This is great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smaller, identify, big one, explain why you're independent. Okay. Reading. How many components of independent reading are there? Three. There. So let's name. They will be able to identify the three components. Choice, time, product. Great. They will be able to identify. They'll be able to actually define the three components. Define the components of the components. Find the three. Mm -hmm. What was that? What did you have there, though? That was smart what you had, but that's a different piece of the aim. Yeah, I think that was sort of guiding my PowerPoint presentation. Um, and it's not really, I don't know if I really got there. I'm not going to focus on that, though. So it defines the three components of independent reading. They're then going to, those are talking about what pieces of independent reading? These are, this is, yeah, I could not remember what it is. These were questions that Laura and I were thinking. How exactly will they be graded and how they will be tracked? Those are things that kids need to have an answer to. Right, exactly. So it needs to be part of your aim. Mm -hmm. What would they need to leave being able to answer the question? What would Sharifa need? We want to hear Sharifa say, we're they graded will, in this way. They will know if students learn to 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 learn The, account, the components of the accountability system. And how their progress will be tracked. Yep. Um. Now, let's look at that one and let's think about so when you're writing an aim, mm -hmm. what you want to think of is you want it to be like you want it to set the vision and direction for your whole class because you actually, that was really helpful for what you just did. You went back and you said, actually, I don't think I, I said the same and while well, I didn't actually do it. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, 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 <laughs> so yeah, yeah. It was helpful. I think from a student perspective, would Sharif would be able to say what is required, what is um, graded, and how my progress is tracked, or would we want to know more than anything to say, like, um, I'm held accountable by my, mm -hmm. like, is this student friendly? Yeah, 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 yeah. How can we make it more student friendly? Right now? Yeah. Find three components of independence. One of which will be able to um, actually um, I don't know how they will be or held accountable for the three independent readings so Yeah. They will the grading system of independent readings so Yeah. The grade, yes. Progress monitoring is not that. I don't think they understand what progress yeah. monitoring means. And how many quantifiably? What makes up the, the grading system? How many pieces? How many things are you using to grade them? That's what I went back to you about. Great. So put the put X components of the accountability system. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Great job putting the, in like the higher level, explaining why it was important, like we talked about, which was really good. Um, this is more like culture, that kind of part of it. That's great. Love it. It's part of like the built in for PowerPoint, like the John Green and the Great Corn. That's cool. Have you read John Green's stuff? No, I actually never read that. It's never so the Star. Good. Never the, no, not Never the Star. No, that's a that's slow slide. So, so sad. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> this one is too, though, right? This is really sad, but it's so good. Um, um, you've got to get some John Green. Yeah. We're going to buy you some right now. There you go. You have to send email. Read it soon. Um, okay. Now let's take that aim. Uh, Before you go down and think about your lesson, let's
But think about what questions you're checked for understanding. What questions are you going to ask okay. throughout your lesson to see if Sharifa, to make sure Sharifa can answer that question at the end of the day in the bus block. Okay. See if you. Yep. Hey, Sharifa. What are the components of <laughs> independent? Here we go. Will you be able to get away with not reading? Great. Wow. Why not? Why not? I don't know what you're saying, why not? Great. Um, uh, I mean, one way that reading, one reason why reading is important, I mean, one reason that we stay alive. Um, Ruth, yeah. Keep going. Maybe a question before that is, um, one has spent the time that you have enjoyed. I'm just delivering hall passes. Hi. Do you, do you yeah. need hall passes? Absolutely. Okay, perfect. Um, and then I can help out with bulletin board soon. Okay, perfect. So. Just come tell me when you're ready. And Purple. I will. Yeah. Thank good. you so much. You're welcome. Awesome. That's that's part of it. That's built for their do now, right? Perfect. That's their do now. Or name a book that you like. Name Great. a name a book that you've read. Their do now is. Um, so, yeah, I want them to take you to read a book. What's the book about? If you read it again, uh, that's kind of part of my read. Oh, I think for our aim, I think we need to add one more piece, like why independent reading is essential, like why it's important for building your skill as a reader. Mm -hmm. I think it was very wise for you to build in the culture piece, though, I think you said. Why and how, or explain how independent reading, I think it's less the why, more the how. It actually makes them better, like X number of minutes spent reading, equals what? So then what check for understanding would you need to ask there to help them get that? What's one way that indicative reading will make you better reader? How does indicative reading tie into your skill? How does independent reading? So I think there you're you're giving them the answer, right? You're saying how does it improve your uh, skills? Like impact. What, mm -hmm, impact, or are you can even say what's the relationship between yeah. independent reading and great. So there you have your checks for understanding, which you can think about as being questions you'd ask in the moment as well as activities that you have, like actual assignments that they're working on to build into that understanding. So then spot check them through here, mm -hmm. or keep walking. So this was my idea for the second, can I see the second half question on the class? I don't think we need to keep going. He gets with this, but it's like, <laughs> my work.